What's up, guys? Adrian Jr. here with Sun City Outdoors. I'm here with my friend Jeremy. What's up, guys? Here at Lake Mead. Uh, our target species today is going to be bass, but the stripers are starting to boil and our freezer is running low, so we're going to have to catch some of them to eat them up. So enjoy this footage. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great day out here, so let's see what we can do. What we do here is go back, 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 back. You hear it? Slow it down, slow it down. Oh, slow it down. Dang, they're small. Three hits in a row. First fish of the day. What is it? Striper. He's busted on top water. Oh, you almost got hooked. First one of the day, striped bass. He's warm too. Water's warm right now. Busting on the top water. Oh, oh, oh man, he hit him. Yeah, hit him nice. with the top water. Nice, I got that one on film too. He's completely out of the water for Oh, yeah. Smalley. Smalley? Yeah. Cool. Oh, he's fighting good too, dude. Dang, tell him to line. Oh shoot, my bad. Oh, he's a nice one. I think there's more than one, bro. <laughs> nice. One. Yeah, look, there is more than one because he wasn't even near those ones busting. First bass of the day. Yep, first bass. Looking good. There's a little bit more water in there and then we set. Top water fish, still early, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. Now yeah, about 5 30. Just slamming them on top of water. Out They're jumping over there, look. If you catch one on this cast, it's going to be perfect. Not this time. Little bass. Good little one. Got another one. That's the bad thing about top water, you hook them on the top, top of the head sometimes. It's not even six yet. Rush it. You got hooked? Yeah, all right. Running my thumb. Dang, it's the second time today. <laughs> all right, we're going towards our first boil of the season. That right there is what we call a boil. All the stripers have chased the shad to the surface and they're circling and they make this big splashing on the surface. We call them boils. When you cast in, they're casting top water, something should hit it almost immediately. You got one? You got a little got a little guy here. Nice little little smallie. We just had a double up. We got tangled up, so I had to stop filming. Got another one. See this is what's great about boils. You throw in a boil, those fish you know are hungry, they're chasing shad, smashing them on top water. The only bad thing when we got on a boil, you just can't take them off the hook fast Here's enough. Yep, another one. There's like five of them following. Couple followers, flop them in, flop them in, let's get some more. Having a good morning so far out here fishing uh, striper boils. Alright, another boil oh, spotted. They chase the shad back there in the corner. They're going nuts. Perfect. Your bait's going to come right through. Let's 
get a splash on that. Let's get a splash on that. Yep. Got him. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, These ones are nice ones. Oh, yeah. Am I taking a look? Get it. Get it. Double hookup. My line, of course, gets tangled because I leave it out there when I pick up the film every time. Hey, then hooks up. You don't need the net, do you? Uh, just flop them. Flip them. Oh, man. You got them. Flip them. Barely got them. Barely got them. Nice grab. I barely got them. Nice grab. Woo! That's a good one. That's the two and a half, or what you think? Yeah, two and a half, maybe close to three. We'll weigh them at the end. All right. That's Got a good one. one. Beauty. Turn the water on. Got another one. Oh, he's All jumping. Right. Flip. Oh. What? That one's another nice one in the weeds. They're sitting in about three feet of water. Yeah, he took both my claws off. He took both claws? Another nice one right here. Beauty. On the jig, casting up next to these trees. These dudes are healthy out here, pretty fat. No more to add. Nice. So we're out here fishing for bass. They're using finesse style stuff and jigs. And um, we're just fishing five to 15 feet of water. Whenever we see a striper boil, we immediately put the bass poles down and we switch to something either top water or like a suspended jerk bait something that looks like a shad trying to escape the stripers it's working out pretty good how many stripers we got already i think about, about 10. about 10 15. yeah all right we're doing good well hey, jeremy hooks up got a, little got on the little a little guy still fun to catch though yep Always fun to get them, no matter what size. Yeah. Dang, nice one. That was a nice hook set on that. I saw that building up. He got that tap tap and just waited and then he set the heck up. Oh, dang, look at his lips though. You know they're eating crawdads when their lips are like that. Oh, wow, that's red. Really, look at that. Jig bite should be doing pretty good then in here. Hey, got you a friend. Turn that water off. Alright guys, we're gonna call it a day. Let's check out these fish you got. Alright, so we're gonna weigh each individual fish because we forgot our weigh bag. And let them go after that so we can see what our final weight would be. It's gonna be hard to grab. There you go. All right, nice. Hold those up. Beautiful fish. You guys did great today. Awesome day out here, guys. Don't underestimate the power of a jig. I'll tell you that right now. In top water. Yep. And These you're using drop shot over there, right? Drop this shots. One? Beautiful this fish. This one right here is probably has the body of a four pounder, but he's spawned out. Yep. Real skinny. That's big fish. Yeah, I think this one's a big fish. All right, let's see what he weighed. 251. 251, fish one. Yep, two and a half. See, big fish, but I don't know, that one might be big fish. It's one of these two. So first one was 251. 251, and then add. Ooh, 291. 291. So this was big fish. See, a super long fish. Let's see, hold it up. But skinny. Super long fish and skinny. All right, let her go. Spawned out. All right, fish three. One nine six. One nine six. One nine six. Fish four. One nine four. One nine four. One five eight. One five eight. He's good. Yeah. One of the fish needs an extra, an extra push. He'll survive. 
There he goes. And he's off. How was your day? It was a great day. Did you have fun, fish. Jeremy? Yeah, enjoyed it. It was fun. Thanks for taking me. Yeah? How about you, Raiden? Great day. Well, I caught guys... a lot of fish. Pretty big bag. You awesome. guys caught about 10 bass, right? About 10 bass and we... Let me see the stripers. stripers. We got a whole cooler full of stripers. Adrian's grandmother is coming to visit. And uh, she loves fish, so we're going to go fry these guys up. She's coming tomorrow. She'll have fish ready when she gets here. Yep. All right, guys, we had a great day out here. I was out here with my friend Jeremy. He has an Instagram. It's yeah. uh, fishing underscore legend 72. So All go right. ahead, check him out. He catches a lot of big fish around here. We had a great time today. Caught a ton of fish on some jigs and some finesse stuff. Top water, boils. It was, it was a great day. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.